Hello guys and welcome to my tutorial guide for the game Disintegration. Um, first thing I need to say is thank you to Private Division for gifting me a copy of Disintegration for review. What I'm going to do as well with this video, I'm going to link as many useful resources in the description box below, including to the what is video I made about this game and so on. But before we continue, a quick message from past Mifri. Thank you for watching the video so far. Remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and ring the bell to help with the YouTube algorithm. Now back to the video. So in this game, basically, you control your main character, but while you're doing missions, you have a squad of people to help you and they follow you around. So it's like a combined first person shooter and real time strategy game. It's, it's quite a unique blend. So if we look now, let's say we want to get ready to start a, men a mission. So up here at the top right, we have the mission and we have different challenges you can accept from talking to the different NPCs that tend to be around the starting hub. And then you have crew. So crew are your team members. Um, you can look through each one. You can customize their abilities, install chips that you find out throughout each of the missions to upgrade their skills. But one thing I recommend, especially when you're starting out, is to just do the auto. You see at the bottom here, it says auto install chips. So I just do that. You hold R. It will install all of them that are available and so on. So you don't have to think about it too much. Um, and then uh, let's start a mission and I'll show you the combat. Now there is an in-game training mode as well. But I wanted to help you guys get up to speed as quickly as possible. Okay, so now we're in the game. As you can see, I've got my four squad members and there's you flying around. You can move forward, back, left, right with W, A, S, and D. Go up, press shift to go down, press control. You can shoot with left click and then uh, with right click, you actually assess and you assign which enemies for the squad to focus on. You can also press Q to change to your healing gun. So if your members are getting low, you can shoot um, like healing at them. And also, well, you can hold Q to put down a healing aura. And then press Q again to get back to your main guns. Now, as you can see at the bottom left of the screen, um, each of the characters has one, two, three, and four. They have numbers assigned to them. Now, if you want to speed up, which would be useful for quick dodging, you can press space. You see, you get like a temporary boost to do that. And your crew members will follow you around. Okay, so here's some enemies. Okay. So by right clicking on a target, you basically assign it as a priority for your squad. There we go. So I right clicked. Done. So that's again, right click. Now, you, what you could also do as well, you can use their abilities. So, let me press 1, for example. You see I'm using the ability of the first character. You threw a grenade, and it recharges. You can see at the bottom left that it's currently recharging as well. Okay. Now, let me use all of my skills. Now, one thing I actually recommend is to while you're shooting your main gun because at the beginning you, you have like more like a submachine gun is to try and use your abilities um, in between when you're reloading now at any time if if your squad go completely they, they feel like they're gone to the middle of nowhere and you want to get them back press f press f and it will bring your squad back to your position. So, yeah. So, you need to strategize. You need to decide, okay. Where shall I go? And so on. Now, you see these little objects on here that highlight? You can um, right-click those. And you can see that sometimes they have different... Like, this one has a healing aura. Or it might be a chest full of gear or whatever. Now, to scan the, the area, press E. That's how you scan. So we scan, we, we determine that this utility chest has got nothing of value. So we can carry on. Let's scan this. Anything? Nope, nothing of value. 
So it's worth scanning everything and taking your time. So uh, think of this game, like I said. So first person shooter, it's a strategy game. But also you do need resources because along the way you will find upgrade ships and stuff like that. So as you go along in the game, you will find the game, it becomes more and more intense as you go along. So the, the more missions you do, the levels will become more intense. You'll find more upgrades. You'll become a lot more um, confident in using the different abilities of your squad mates and so on. So yeah, so that's it. That's basically the basics of um, how this integration works. When you get your head around the combat, you'll find that the game, at least for me, in my personal opinion, the game is very, very fun. And uh, of course, the further on you get into the game, the more intense the missions will be, the more powerful weapons you'll have, the better your squad mate abilities will be, and so on. So yeah, so but it's so it's definitely unique. But I wanted to really make this video guide to emphasize how to get the most out of your squad mates. So in summary, make sure that to while you're reloading to hit abilities, that seems to be the most efficient way of doing things. Um, and eventually you'll get into a pattern or rhythm where you just like shoot, 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 ability while you reload, shoot, 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 ability while you reload, shoot, shoot. So basically you're doing, you're churning out constant damage all the time. Um, anyway, guys, that's it for this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. You can watch around the video over there. You can watch the latest upload down there. Or you can click down here to subscribe. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.